Hey guys, wanted to do a video here on algae issues, um, what causes it, and how to resolve it. Uh, so this is some shots of my tank. I intentionally created these algae issues just for this video. Um, no, I'm not crazy. I just, I, algae doesn't concern me. I know how to deal with it. So I'm going to show you what I did. Uh, talk about how I created it and what I did to resolve it. So first of all, uh, talking about algae causes. So what causes algae? One of the big things that causes algae is overfeeding. Um, I did intentionally overfeed both my fish and my coral to force this algae to happen um, solely for the purpose of this video. Also poor water quality. Um, I intentionally um, overran my media. Um, I intentionally skipped water changes and I intentionally didn't clean my filter as needed to keep up on my normal maintenance. So those were things that uh, affected my water quality. Um, other things that can, in, can uh, affect the algae growth is light overexposure or not having proper spectrums balanced. I did not change any of my lighting uh, that, that could be detrimental to the coral in the tank. So I did not do this to create algae, but I do want to point out that overexposure or improper balancing of spectrums will create algae as well. Um, and then the last part of algae creation, um, which I think is probably the biggest is insufficient cleanup crew. If you don't keep a strong cleanup crew, um, you will have algae issues. Algae is just something that they control and do a very good job of. I typically keep one hermit crab per two gallons of water, one snail per two gallons of water. If I had an algae outbreak, as you'll see in here, I upped that uh, in order to combat the algae. Uh, so here's a few more shots of just what the algae looked like in the tank prior to me taking corrective actions. And at the end of this, I do have a video of two weeks after I took the corrective action of what my tank looks like. And you'll be able to see the drastic improvement that was made in just two weeks. Uh, the other big thing to point out here is I took action before this got really, really bad. I did not, I was not crazy enough to let it go wild before taking action, um, but I did want to show that it is easily correctable. This here is just a picture of my front glass. Um, I did let that go as well, just kind of let everything build um, in order to kind of show where it grows and in everything that it can take over. This here is a picture of uh, kind of like my back and side glass where my heater and stuff is at. Uh, you can just see the algae just kind of overgrew that as well. Um, again, I intentionally did this, let things uh, expire and go beyond where they should to create this uh, solely for the purpose to talk through on how we, how we correct it and then show you how easy it is to actually correct it. Um, and here's my sand bed. Uh, you can see the... Um, I do have black sand, but there are white speckles and pebbles in the sand. You can see um, all the white pieces just turned brown, as well as on top of the black. You can just kind of see the barrier that's been created, the brown algae just growing right over the sand. And you can also see kind of on the uh, frag disc there that that uh, toad stool is mounted on that toad stool frag you can see it just kind of caked on there and, and you'll see that frag again later to see the improvement uh, you can also tell that i turned down my skimmer i drastically turned it down to create this issue as well so you can see that bubbles were forming at the top of my tank because my skimmer was turned down so far uh, so how do we correct all this so the first thing uh, when it comes to correcting these issues is increase skimming. 
Obviously I decreased skimming to create some of these issues. So I am over skimming to correct some of these issues. And you can see that here, my skimmer is just really cranking high. Um, a lot more bubbles coming through than, than normal skimming activity. Um, when I show here at the bottom, you can just see there is really, I'm pumping a lot of air in to create extra skimming. Um, when I go back up to the top here, you'll be able to see the amount that's already in that skimmer reservoir there. That's just a couple hours, uh, if that gives you a perspective of how fast I'm pulling skim out of the tank in order to uh, help correct this issue. One of the other things I did was manual removal of the algae. Um, that can happen in a couple different ways. If you don't generally steer your sand bed, um, you can turkey baster it off the top. Um, I did the best I could to turkey baster off the top without disrupting the sand bed. I do uh, generally turn my sand bed, so you'll see I did something else here in, in a second as well to help with that. As far as the rock work, I turkey bastered the rock work. Um, of course, this was prior to cleaning my filter. That way I could uh, absorb anything with the filter and then give that filter a clean. You don't want to do this after cleaning your filter. You want to do this before. That way anything that's put into the air and sucked up into the filter gets cleaned when you clean the filter. Uh, I also regularly do this though. So if you don't regularly do this, I don't recommend you just jump into siphoning your sand bed, but I regularly siphon my sand bed. Um, I generally go through it in sections of the tank each time I do a water change. So every few months, uh, each section gets siphoned. And what I do is I put the siphon down in there and I let the gravel fall and then I suck up all the cloudiness. Uh, again, if you don't generally do this, please don't just do this, jump into doing this. You will create more issues than you will resolve. I also um, did a water change. And when I did the water change, I updated my filter media maintenance. There's a few key pieces in the filter media maintenance that um, I want to point out. So one is Purigen. I updated my Purigen. Um, as you can see here when I zoom in on it, this is a great item for removing organic waste. That organic waste will create algae. So I updated this. I also updated my ROA FOSS, and uh, you'll see when I zoom in here, um, ROA FOSS is a great phosphate absorber, um, so I updated this to um, help correct that issue as well. I also updated my Chemi Pure Elite. Um, and this one here is uh, the elite version is definitely a phosphate remover as well um, all in one media phosphate remover absorber so this is a good one to update as well and then i also updated my carbon um, just to make sure i had a fresh round of carbon in the filter as well the biggest thing that's going to make the biggest impact is i increased my cleanup crew um, I went and bought a dozen more red blue leg crabs, just kind of, I, I did a dozen combo of the both. Mostly red leg is what I bought. Um, there were a couple blue legs thrown in there just because they were mixed in when, when I was picking them out. Um, so I updated my hermit crabs, both red and blue leg. And I will show you the uh, hermit crabs that I put in um, here. And then we will talk about the snails that I updated as well. All right, so these are uh, the dozen crabs that I added. Um, mostly red leg. There are a few blue leg in there. Um, this is them first going into the tank when I, when I put them in. I just... Put them right on the sand bed all together and let them kind of disperse from there and go go in their direction. I don't put them in any particular spot um, other than just putting them right there in the sand bed. I've got a couple moments here of just kind of showing you them munching on the algae in the tank. Um, 
work doing their job you know doing that cleanup crew bit and uh, eating all the algae sitting in the tank that guy there is uh, you can see the little bit of algae that he's picking on there and you got this guy here uh, cleaning up that uh, frag disc that is sitting on the sand bed um, so definitely doing the job that I need them to do um, got to it pretty quickly and then these are the crabs that I updated I put an additional dozen of these in um, on top of what was already in the tank so definitely uh, went heavier um, by the time I did all these updates it was it was probably about 30 plus of each in the tank for a 45 gallon tank so you know one per uh, one one and a quarter gallons of water so it, it was uh, pretty heavily stocked um, on the cleanup crew and that was solely to make sure that the issue got taken care of very quickly and so this is uh those new guys going into the tank uh, stuck them right there on the glass to let them have a good start i also stick them on the glass uh, that way if i don't just want to put them on the sandbags i don't want a crab attacking them and then killing the brand new item that i just put in the tank so that that helps with that so what does it look like two weeks later after I let everything clean up the water, clean up the uh, skim, and um, let the cleanup crew do their thing? So uh, there's the heater, the back glass. Uh, this is going to show my front glass. Of course, I did scrape the glass as well. Um, but you can see over time with the cleanup crew that I added uh, with the water uh, change and the refresh of all the media in the water the algae just didn't instantly regrow on the glass after scraping it i scraped it and the glass has been able to maintain clean you can also see uh, i got several pieces of rock work here that i'm going to show you can see some uh, scan up there it's been picked clean i mean you can see the base color of the rock very clearly there. Um, I would say there's still a little bit of work that needs to be done by the cleanup crew, but it's essentially been picked clean. And that rock looks to be in really good condition. Um, nice and uh, picked off. Uh, looks really clean like it just got put in the tank. So, um, and that rock was, had, you know, covered. It had a lot of algae on it. Um, Please don't judge the coral looks in these pictures as this is my full daylight condition to make sure I got bright light on the rock for this video so you could really see any color deviation in the rock just, you know, to be fully transparent on what the rock looks like. So please don't judge the coral looks. It's not, it's not that pretty blue, um, the way the corals look under that pretty blue, but you can see here on the rock again, it's been pretty picked clean. Um, I've got some sand bed that I'm going to show you um, and I've also got some more rock in another area of the tank that I'm going to show you that way you get a full look at all different uh, areas of the tank of the rock um, multiple multiple spots so you can really see what the full tank looks like. Um, I also got the sand bed here and I've also got the same exact sand bed spots that were showing brown before. Um, you'll be able to see, I'm going to show you that frag plug that the crab was working on. I'm going to show you the rock button right up against that uh, orange lobo that you saw um, that was brown and yucky um, at the start of the video. So you'll be able to see the exact same rock work in the exact same sand that was brown brown and yucky at the start of the video you're going to see it now picked clean um, the crabs are cleaned it up and the change in the water chemistry with the updated media is stopping it from regrowing so uh, the little bit that uh, does naturally regrow in everybody's tank the crabs are cleaning up and keeping up with all right so we are going to get to the rest of that rock work in the sand bed in just a minute uh, before we see the rest of these results I want to talk a little bit about how to prevent this and keep algae from just ever occurring in your tank what's your best defense what's the best thing you can do all right so here we go 
Algae prevention. Okay, so the best thing you can do to keep algae out of your tank is have a strong cleanup crew. Every tank naturally has algae occur, grows with your lights, grows with everything else you put in there. The best way to keep it in check is a strong cleanup crew. I have a video on this, go check that out. The second thing you can do to keep algae at bay is have solid filter maintenance. I also have videos on this, go check that out. And lastly, uh, don't overfeed. Feed them what they need, feed the fish what they need, feed the coral what they need. Don't overfeed. Uh, so hopefully you got some good pointers out of this. Um, give me a like, give me a subscribe. If you like things like this, if you wanna see videos where I've dealt with issues and I've battled issues and, and had success and I'm able to share what I've done to gain that success and um, be able to share the results of that success, uh, give me a like, give me a subscribe and check out some more of my content. Thanks.